Welcome to Học Tiếng Anh với Joseph, where we build vocabulary and practice pronunciation through reading. Continuing with the cat in the box, a history of science in 100 experiments. Today we will read story number 81. Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ đọc chuyện số 81, The Alpha Helix. One of the most important experiments in the history of molecular biology consisted simply of folding up a long strip of paper to make kind of concertinate snake. The folding was carried out by the American chemist Linus Pauling in 1948, who did it to explain the X-ray diffraction patterns produced by certain kinds of protein, which had been puzzling him and others for years. Proteins come in two main varieties, both based on long chains known as polypeptides. In one variety, the fibrous proteins, the molecules largely retain the long, thin structure you associate with a chain. In the other, the globular proteins, the chain is folded in upon itself to make a ball. Fibrous proteins are an important structural material, the basis of things such as hair, feathers, muscles, silk, and horn. Globular proteins are workers, like the hemoglobin molecules that carry oxygen around in your blood. The first X-ray diffraction images a fibrous protein were obtained by William Asbury at the University of Leeds in the 1930s. He was working with keratin, which is found in wool, hair, and fingernails. The images showed a regular repeating pattern which suggested that the protein had a simple structure but there was not enough information to work out exactly what that structure was. Pauling, who was the first person to work out the rules of quantum chemistry and would write a definitive book on the subject, was intrigued, and he spent the summer of 1937 trying, unsuccessfully, to find a way of coiling a polypeptide chain to match the data. He decided that it would be necessary to go back to basics, looking at the amino acids that are the links in the polypeptide chain, and trying to work out how they fitted together. But with other work and the Second World War intervening, it was a long time before he came to grips with the problem. The first step was to study X-ray diffraction photographs of individual amino acids, which Pauling did at Caltech. The California Institute of Technology with Robert Corey. The key thing that they discovered is that although many chemical bonds allow the atoms or chemical units on either side of the bond to rotate, the peptide bond between carbon and nitrogen, which gives polypeptide their name, is locked by a phenomenon known as quantum resonance, so that a chain containing these bonds cannot rotate around them. This part of the chain is held rigid, but still Pauling couldn't work out how to fold the chain up to match Astbury's photographs. Although based at Caltech, Pauling spent some time in 1948 as a visiting professor at the University of Oxford in England. In the spring of that year, he caught a bad cold and spent a couple of days in bed, reading science fiction and detective stories. 
It was when he got bored with these that he carried out the experiment that revealed the structure of keratin. Pauling took a strip of paper and drew along it a representation of a long polypeptide chain. He knew enough to get the distances between the various components roughly correct from memory and the angles that the different units should make with each other. But there was no way he could make the chain fit along the straight fiat flat piece of paper. One key angle, the same link repeated at different places along the chain, always came out wrong and it could not be altered because of the rigidity imposed by the C and quantum resonance. So he tried increasing the paper and folding it along the repeated parallel lines to make the correct angle 110 degrees at each of these links in the chain. The creased strip of paper now had a roughly helical shape, a corkscrew of repeating linkages spiraling through space in which some of the atoms were now located in just the right way for a quantum phenomenon known as hydrogen bonding to help to hold it together. Back in the USA, further X-ray studies confirmed the correctness of this idea and Pauling's team published a series of seven scientific papers in 1951 describing the structure of many fibrous proteins in terms of what he dubbed the alpha helix. But the discovery itself was almost less important than the way the discovery had been made. Pauling's breakthrough set people thinking about the role of helices in biological molecules and opened their eyes to the value of starting from the bottom up with the basic building blocks of biological material to work out how they fitted together by building models, even if, as in this case, the model was only a folded strip of paper. Within a couple of years, this approach would harvest the biggest prize in molecular biology, the structure of DNA. Let's go to the vocabulary section. Folding up, concertinide, polypeptides, fibrous proteins, globular proteins, definitive book, coiling, intervening, came to grips, quantum resonance, angles, Creased strip of paper. Breakthrough. Helix. Helixes. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next story. Bye for now.